would think Pam Hupp would lay low. The next thing we heard was Pam shot and killed a man in her home. It was first reported as a home invasion in O'Fallon, Missouri. Pam Hupp said she shot from her bedroom in self-defense, and she had a 911 call to prove it. But it turned out her motive for murder was to frame her old enemy, Russ Faria. When it happened, I, I think you were one of the first people I called. An innocent man, Louis Gumpenberger, a single dad with disabilities, lay dead on Pam Hupp's bedroom floor. And there was a note in the dead man's pocket, along with $900 cash. Handwritten, the note had instructions to kidnap Hupp, and it said, get Russ's money. I was thinking to myself, she's going to find some way to involve me in this. I don't know how, but she is. And lo and behold, within a day or two, I got a phone call from Joel. And he says, you know, hey, the police want to talk to you. I'm like, oh, okay, great. You know, here we go again. But this was a different police department and prosecutor, O'Fallon police and the St. Charles County prosecutor. After a week of investigation, they arrested Pam Hupp for murder. We had the arrest exclusively on Fox 2. It's video you will never see anywhere else. She hatched a plot to find an innocent victim and to murder this innocent victim in an apparent effort to frame somebody else. Cell phone tracking revealed Hupp lured Lewis Gumpenberger from his apartment and drove him to her house where she shot him to death. Investigators learned she planted evidence, including a knife and money. Detectives found Hupp bought the knife at a dollar store and there were nine $100 bills in Gumpenberger's pocket. An investigator compared them to $100 bills on Hupp's dresser. The serial numbers were in sequence, likely all withdrawn from the bank at the same time. But the most haunting evidence came from Carol McAfee, who Hupp tried to lure six days earlier, while Hupp randomly trolled neighborhoods. I sat there and I listened to Tim Lomar tell me his version of how he thinks I was supposed to die that day. McAfee's encounter with Pam Hupp was captured in this August 10th, 2016 surveillance video. Talk about leaving you numb from the neck down. It, it's hard, you know, you, you make jokes about it, whatnot, and, but you sit and you think about, she was really gonna kill me. McAfee said Hupp claimed to be a TV producer, offering money for a video shoot. She knew it was too suspicious, and based on what she says Hupp told her that day, investigators believe Hupp was gonna shoot her and leave her dead in front of Russ Faria's mom's house. It was hard to breathe, to think I was supposed to be laying in that yard dead. After her arrest, prosecutors say Pam Hupp's actions revealed her guilt. She's about to stab herself in her neck and wrists. Watch closely as she touches her neck in the police interview room. Subtly, she hides a pen in her pants, then returns to feeling her neck. Police stopped her from killing herself later in a bathroom. Officers took these photos of her neck and wrists, and then this booking photo of her bandaged. St. Charles County had evidence that would put Hupp away for life. Russ Faria's attorney, Joel Schwartz, wondered what if Lincoln County had listened to him after Betsy Faria's murder. Had Lincoln County done the job that they should have done, that a fifth grader could have done, Pam Hub would have been charged with murder and Lewis Gumpenberger would be alive. But Lincoln County still would not look into Pam Hupp. It took a new sheriff who said he watched news coverage from where he was serving in Afghanistan at the time. It was an eye-opener for everybody. It was, an, it was an awakening moment. It also took a new prosecutor in Mike Wood, who Russ Faria explains was working for the Lincoln County Prosecutor's Office in 2011. And was so upset that he left and vowed to come back and fix things. Wood won the election as new Lincoln County Prosecutor, taking over in 2019. He vowed to investigate Pam Hupp's connection to Betsy Faria's murder. A lot of politicians don't do this. But uh, he followed through with his campaign promise and he reopened the case and uh, here we are today with an investigation going on and we're looking forward to having a trial in the future. Next, she just was manipulative throughout every possible place she could manipulate. Plus the new case against Pam and her dramatic transformation.